Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we'll cover another amazing lab that is TensorFlow Quick Start. So first of all, click on Start Lab and open console in incognito window. Now, if you are new to this channel, like the video and subscribe the channel for more such amazing content. So now wait for the console to open. Now, first of all, we have to click on I understand. So just click on I understand. Here basically you have to click on I agree and then click on agree and continue. Now here we will be executing all the commands in our Jupyter lab. So for Jupyter lab click on vertex CI and from here just navigate to the workbench and here we will find our self created Jupyter notebook and we will be doing all the steps in it. So wait for the page to fully load. Now here open the Jupyter lab. Now it will take some more time. Meanwhile, if you haven't liked the video, like it and do subscribe the channel. Finally, the Jupyter Notebook is now ready. Here we have to create file, update the file and just run each shell one by one. And so let's start first of all. We need to create a file. So for the file name, let's go to the lab instruction. And from here, click on task number one. And first of all, we'll open the terminal and check whether Python is installed or not. Basically, we have to install some of the requirements and packages for doing this lab. So just run it. Now here, install the TensorFlow. Now we have to upgrade it. So wait for this command to complete. After that we will upgrade it. So it's taking a little bit time. So wait for it. Let's upgrade it as the file has already been loaded, basically the packages. Now it will again take some more time. After that, we'll in install the pylint package and then the requirements.txt file. So just copy it carefully and paste over here. So once all the packages are installed, we will create model files in the notebook. Basically, we'll create three model files. One is model file, one is callback file, and the another is updated model file. And we'll save it to our notebook. So just wait. Finally, all have been done. Now we'll open the Python 3 notebook. So let me show you how we'll move forward. So just click on Python 3. And from here, we have to just add this and again add this, copy it from here, just hit enter here, add it. Now again, copy it from here, just hit enter, then now just run it. Now wait for the kernel to get idle, after that we'll save this file, that is model file name. So here you have to just save it, click on save notebook, replace entire content and just make sure the file name is this. So finally we are done with this part and now we have to update this code on the second step. If you are unable to see this blank space, you have to just click on the plus button. Let me show you again. So as you can see here, just, be, be, just right to save, there is a plus button, you have to click on it. So now again add this also in the second cell. Now you can make sure that these files have been updated. So let's see if we get error again. We, I will show you how you will run again. So just run it. And let's see whether we get error or not. So we are getting an error. So here is one more thing you need to understand what you need to modify. Just copy it completely. Copy it completely. 
and just paste the entire content in the cell now here as you can see it's running that was maybe due to internal glitch but after running this i think we will get the score and basically we will definitely get the score because it is 100 percent working solution so now wait for these commands to execute and all packages and instructions are fully loaded and when the kernel goes idle we will hit check my progress and see whether we get full score or not so it will load till it reaches 500 now here it's taking some time meanwhile if you haven't participated in the arcade program and want to know about the arcade program you can check the description or just visit the channel and earn exciting google cloud goodies so this was the part and here you can see we have done now when you hit check my progress will get the score without any issue now for second part we have to just add this and we'll be using this model for our purpose so just add it and you have to just click on run and finally the data has been loaded now you will click on check my progress will get the score without any issue and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you like the video if you like the way i have solved the lab just like the video and subscribe to the channel and for more other skill badges you can check the playlist apart from this i have created a 50 plus skill badges sheet you can check it out and complete as many as you can for this lab i have created the playlist you can check the playlist section thank you guys have a great day